the eyes, remove your hats, and honor our America by the name of the National Anthem. Thank Blacks trimmed in white and gold. The Bulldogs will be in their home whites trimmed in green. In 2007, Cascade won sectionals in both girls basketball and softball. Really? And Don Helmick coached both yes, teams. Yes, he did. Yes. He coached both teams. He is a big softball guy as well. Yep. Used to be at Caston as well for coached, a few years. Coached both teams at Caston. And he is an also he's also a licensed volleyball official. Parkinson and McCarter jump. Parkinson tips it to Rochester, and the Zebras will control it. Here is Clevenger with it. Now comes to the near side, now to Wilson. Wilson holds the basketball, now down in the corner. They have to swing it back left side. Here's McCarter, 15-footer on the way. Rims out, no good. Rebound comes away to Parkinson. Parkinson. Good screen by Audrey Bollinger. Quickly down the floor is Davidson. The layup, no good. And Bollinger with a quick rebound. Davidson wasn't worried about setting up offense. She just took that rebound coast to coast. No, she's not afraid to push it. Here's Wilson with the basketball. She feels like she can beat whoever off the dribble, and I'm sure she was probably told before the game that Rochester plays the zone, beat the zone before it can set up. Clevenger, McCarter, back and forth now. Clevenger with the basketball, top of the key. Clevenger. Central, uh, the Bulldogs in a uh, man right now against Rochester. Davison against McCarter. She has it far side. Now she jump stops, gives it off up top. Now they swing it right side now to Clevenger. Clevenger. And was going to go around the screen, but they didn't use it. And now Bollinger is going to be whistled for her first foul. Team's first to the quarter on an illegal screen. Got to be careful on those. You want to make sure you get them set. And the guard uses it. Unfortunately, did not that time. And Audrey kind of started to adjust and uh, got called for the moving screen. 
One minute going by here in this contest. Nothing to nothing here on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Landry Whiteman is starting for Clinton Central. We were told that Lindsey Wallsmith would start. Oh, She's yeah. on the bench. Okay, they did change that. So there's a rebound by Parkinson. Parkinson kicks it back out. Here is Davison with it. Davison into Parkinson. Turnaround jumper in the paint. Good. Parkinson gets her first two. And it's a two nothing contest. So it is number 10. Right? Is that what you said? Yeah. White. So it changed it up. But Parkinson's got a nice quick release yeah. on her shot. It doesn't take long to get it for her to get it off, and she just feasts on that shot in the lane. For Carter to Wilson. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger against White Whiteman. Whiteman. Now back up top to McCarter. McCarter into the paint, kicks it out. Wilson three ball on the way. Just off the mark and Field with an offensive rebound. Nice rebound by Field. Good position on that block out. They swing it back up top. Clevenger with the basketball. Gives it off to Wilson. Wilson and McCarter exchange it at the top. And they go down low to Field. Up off the glass is good. Nice post entry pass by Riley Clevenger. Field with her first points of the night. 2-0, or 2-2. Two -two. We're with 540 to go. Bulldogs with the basketball. That is Robbins. Now she has it back. Robbins left wing trying to look down low to Parkinson. She'll, she'll get it at the free throw line. Parkinson, couple dribbles. Leaves it for Whiteman. Oh, it's knocked out of bounds. It'll be off of Whiteman. And turnover against the Bulldogs. First thing you think of when you think of Riley Clevenger's are shooting, but boy, is she a pat, great passer. I mean, yeah. the, the post-entry pass with the Steve, Steve and I talked about that against North Miami. She also had that pass from half court to Jaden Field. That was maybe yeah. even a better pass than the, that pass Wilson last week against North Miami. Around the screen, now back up top. Here's McCarter with the basketball. 5-10 to go here in the opening quarter. Still tied 2-2. They go down low, and that one goes out of bounds. Not a good angle on that pass by McCarter. And Bullinger was posted up and kind of a straight-on pass, uh, and she couldn't go get it. I Yeah. You got to catch that pass, though. I Davison with the basketball. She'll walk it across the timeline. 2-3 zone again for the Zebras. Bring it to the near side now to Robbins. Robbins goes into Parkinson, goes between her hands, and Bollinger picks it up and then travels. Bollinger was on a knee and went to pass it and st stood up and unfortunately hadn't passed the basketball yet, so a turnover right back to the Bulldogs. In football, they would call that, what, down by contact? <laughs> yeah. Bulldogs inbound. Here's a three ball on the way by Robbins from the corners. Good. And when Coach Helmick wants a timeout, it is a 30-second timeout. 4.48 to go here in this first quarter, 5-2. The Bulldogs lead. They lead 5-2 with 4.48 to go on the Rochester glass yeah, scoreboard. Really, an unforced turnover led to that yeah. three-pointer, and then here comes the pressure out I mean, of the timeout. And that's Robbins' game, that three-pointer, yeah. especially that corner three. Pressure put on by the Bulldogs. They get it into McCarter. McCarter turns, and she'll face up. She'll take uh, Davison on. McCarter in the backcourt, gets it across the timeline. McCarter now picks up her dribble off to Clevenger. They go over the top to Field. Field kicks it back out to McCarter. Swings it left side now to Clevenger, over the top to Wilson. Down low now to Bollinger. Bollinger back out to Wilson, right side. Couple of dribbles into the paint. She'll throw up a shot and gonna get fouled. And that foul is gonna come on Robbins. It's gonna be her first team first of the quarter. It's and interesting, that, it looked like Bollinger was gonna show for a high ball screen, but Aubrey just kind of said, yeah. no, I don't need it. Went around, the turned the corner, got a foul. Now she's at the free throw line looking for her first points of the night. Boy, Two free throws coming. And when she, starts, when she starts doing that more and more often, I think it's just more of a like, confidence thing with Aubrey. Right. Uh, she is going <laughs> she is going to be hard to stop. She's already pretty hard to stop. First free throw is missed. She'll have another one. 5-2, to two, Bulldogs lead here at Clinton Central High School. Second free throw for Wilson on the way. This one's short off the front of the iron, picked up by Davidson. Here comes Davidson across the timeline. She'll wait, now give it off to Robbins, back to Davidson, over to Parkinson. Parkinson squares up for a three, passes it up, now she gives it back up to Serber. Swing it right side. Robinson, 15-footer, no good. Battle for the rebound, and Bollinger pulls it down. Here comes the Zebras. Clevenger. Field was open for a split second, but yeah. good, probably a good decision by Clevenger. To Wilson has it. Top it now to McCarter. Back to the left wing. Now here's Wilson. 3.50 to go here in the opening quarter. Still 5-2. to two. Clevenger 
at the volleyball line, back and forth. She's going to be double teamed, and we're going to have a foul, I believe. And if it is, that's Robinson second. Nope, they're going to call it on 10. That's going to be Whiteman, her first. Team second with 3.44 to go here in this first quarter. Wilson throws it to Clevenger in the backcourt. She'll bring it across the timeline. She's guarded by Whiteman. Goes around the screen by Bollinger. Bollinger rolls. They don't get it to her. McCarter into the paint. Kicks it back out to Clevenger. Riley down low now to Bollinger. Bollinger picks up her dribble. Has to kick it back out on the far side to McCarter. McCarter squares it a three but passes it up. I'm a little surprised we put Davison on McCarter, but she's done a nice job on her so far. Clevenger swings it left side now to McCarter. She'll drive the baseline. McCarter kicks it back out to Wilson. Step back three behind the line. No good. Rebound by Field up and good. Jaden Fields got two offensive rebounds and two baskets, and it's 5-4 to four now. Bulldogs on top of the Zebras by one with three minutes to go. Well, it kind of took a funny bounce. It didn't it hit did. the rim, but it, hit, it did hit the backboard, yeah. like the lower part of the backboard. There's White, Whiteman with the basketball into the corner. Look at the Clint Central girl had the box up, but she didn't have the ball. Davidson, wraparound pass down low to Serber. Off the mark, no good. And Bollinger with another rebound. Well, that was a beautiful pass by Davidson. He just missed a bunny. Clevenger with the basketball. Goes to McCarter on the right, uh, left side. McCarter brings it back to the middle, hands it off to Wilson. Wilson turns the corner a little bit, and gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger now will bring it back out. She's guarded tightly by Robbins. This is the most weave we've seen yeah. in Rochester that they run. Looking like they're trying to run that weave a couple different times and roll off of the screen into the post. That time, Bullinger set her own screen. Now back up top to Wilson. Into the paint. Wilson jumps top, gives it out to McCarter. Back to Wilson. 2.05 to go here in the first quarter. 5-4, to four, Clinton Central on top of the Zebras. There's Clevenger, dribbles in, kicks it back out to McCarter. Now she'll attack, she'll wrap around past the field. She quickly gets it out to Clevenger. Under two minutes to go here in this first quarter. Clevenger, step back three, off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Parkinson. Clinton Central caught a break. They went under on the screen. Davidson back to Parkinson, and she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. And that foul coming on the Zebras. They're going to call it on Bollinger, and that's her second. Oh, that'll send Parkinson to the line to shoot two. She's got a field goal so far in the evening. She'll have two free throws here and a couple substitutions for Rochester coming in. Parkinson misses the first one. Checking in for... Clinton Central will be Emily Long, number 31. And Whiteman sits down. In for Rochester is Hottishell and Hunter. Sitting down is Bollinger and Wilson. So Parkinson has an opportunity to put a two-point lead back up. With a second free throw on the way. Nate Basham currently talking with Aubrey Wilson. Free throw, hard off the back of the iron, and rebound fought for. Davidson comes away with it, but travels. Kind of fell down a little bit as she tries to go get that one. And a turnover on the Bulldogs. Five to four, 140 to go here in the opening quarter. Well, here. Rochester trails by one, but they've yeah. been, this is the tempo they want. This is the style of play they want. Carter now to Hottishell. Hottishell top the key. Hottishell. Looking for somebody open. They got to hurry. Now she finds Clevenger. Clevenger with it. Good upside. defense by Robbins on uh, Clevenger. They go down low to field. Field goes to work. Travels. Nope, they're going to call a push. And that one's going to come on Serber. It's going to be her first, team third. It'll be out of bounds to the Zebras. Underneath her basket, baseline right. Rochester's passing has been pretty good so far, yeah. and that's a, miss, that's a potential mismatch. I don't think Serber can handle field. Back in the inbounds from pass a, goes back to Clevenger. From a size and physicality standpoint. Field so trying to work and get post down low. Zebras need to get her a touch. Here's McCarter. Drives it in, kicks it out to Hunter. Hunter now to Hottishell on the right side. Now she loses it, picks it back up, goes to Clevenger. Clevenger, screen by Hottishell. Comes to a jump stop, and uh, unfortunately, there was Hottishell's defender, and she got a double team and a turnover. Good defense by Long. And the pass goes wild by the Bulldogs, picked up by Clevenger. Another turnover for Central, uh, Clinton Central. McCarter now has it with 38 seconds to go in the quarter. Hunter has it stolen. Here's Davison to the hole, up and good to foul. 
Not the way you want to end the quarter for the Zebras. Davidson gets her first point. And she'll go to the line. And the foul is coming on Hunter. It's her first, team third of the quarter. Just a real instinctive play by Davison, who kind of, yeah. you know, I mean, she's guarding McCarter, but she just kind of jumped off and saw. Free throws good. Eight kinda, to four. Kind of the ball just kind of hanging out there and jumped on and got a three-point play. Eight to four is our score with 30 seconds to go. Here's the Zebras with the basketball. Clevenger has it. Looks like the Clint Central is going to put a little trap on in the corner. It's a 1-3-1. One, one. Out of shell. Download it to Hunter. Hunter has it stripped loose. Picked up by Parkinson. Parkinson quickly ahead. That's going to be good long, long up off the glass. No good. And a rebound. Going to be called a foul. And I believe that might be on field. Long was short on her layup attempt. And it is. Jaden Field picking up her first, team fourth. So with 11.1 seconds to go, Bulldogs will have an opportunity. They get it in to Parkinson. Goes up, no good. It's going to be touched by Rochester. They'll have it again with 8.1 seconds. Nice defense by Field. Not sure whose ball it is to start. Looks like it might be Clinton Central's ball to start the quarter. So That's, a, that's what I have. A double opportunity here to score. To end the quarter, start the quarter. They get it in. Into Davison, fade away, jumpers, good for her. And the Zebras will have three seconds, two, one, and that'll do it for the quarter. At the end of one, 10 to four, Bulldogs lead the Zebras here at Clinton Central High School on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with the second quarter, Giant FM and RTC TV4. We're going to have a jump ball. Zebras are going to back on the turnover. Nice defense that time by the Zebras. Doubling up. We have a halftime score from Delphi. Winnemac and North Montgomery are tied 28-28. Okay. That's in the Indiana Kitchen Classic, round two. Yep. Winner of that game will play Delphi in the championship game. Loser will play Pioneer. Okay. Here he is Clevenger, and Clevenger is going to be fouled as she's kind of pushed out of bounds. That'll be the first foul on Long and the first of the quarter for the Bulldogs. Zebras will inbound on the far side. Wilson comes in. Hottishell will sit down. 7.36 to go. Clevenger to trigger the inbounds. Over the top to Wilson. Wilson guarded closely by Serber. Now to Clevenger. Bulldogs do switch on that man. And now back on Clevenger. There's a three on the way. Short off the front of the iron. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Bulldog basketball. That's a pretty good look. Yeah. Um, Still trailing 10-4 to four with 7.20 to go here in the second half. Or in the second quarter. Pardon me. Davison with the basketball. Comes to uh, Parkinson on the near side. Back to Davison. Top of the key. Zebras again in the 2-3 zone. To Parkinson, back to Davidson. Davidson at the volleyball line. She'll back it out and reset the offense. Davidson around Clevenger, jump stop, looking down low. They get it to Whiteman. Whiteman then kicks it back out. Parkinson has to go get it. She gets it. Whiteman down low. Here's a shot up by Serber. Off the mark, no good. Long with the rebound. We're going to have a jump ball to be Clinton Central basketball. That looked like the... Give the ball to Davison and see if she can break somebody down off the dribble yeah, play. That's what it looked like. She backed out a couple times trying to get get a different angle or a different footing to start. Yeah, but she is constantly in motion. That's yeah. one thing you notice about her right away. She's always moving, and she's good without the ball for a point guard. They get it into Whiteman. Whiteman now to Parkinson in the paint, throws up a running jumper, no good. And Hunter with a rebound. Hunter gives it off to Clevenger. Riley with the basketball. Riley. Gives it to McCarter. McCarter then is forced to the high side. Now back to Wilson. Looks like a foul coming in, and it will be on Serber. That's going to be her second team, second of the quarter. Looks like they're uh, setting up the 1-3-1 again, and a little pressure put up top. And coming back in will be Robbins, and 
Server will have to sit down. Again, the, the corner shot should be open. Yeah. And that's really what Braylon Hunter's kind of her patented shot. So let's see if they can get Braylon a look. Trap to the corner. Clevenger gets out. She goes down low to field. The ball's tipped, picked up by Wyman. Here comes Davidson. Davidson with the basketball. Davidson kicks it back out to Parkinson. Parkinson down in the corner, now to Long. Long on a cutting defender. Now to, it goes up to Robbins, and a foul coming on the Zebras is a shot no good. And Robbins will go to the line to shoot two. And that's on field, going to be her second. First of the quarter. Uh, just a dandy pass by Davison. Robinson's got a three-pointer. Not a lot of girls can see the angle on yeah. that pass, and she did. Two free throws coming for Robbins. First one, nothing but the bottom of the net. 11 to four now with just under six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Robbins with another opportunity. This one's up and gets the roll. And now it's 12 to four. Zebra's yet to score this quarter. Mm, just so frustrating. You've hit Parkinson averages 20 a game. You've held her to two so far, and yet you're still down by eight. Here is the Zebras up top. Back and forth between Wilson and Clevenger. Now down in the corner to Hunter. Hunter trips. Ball's loose. And last touch by Clinton Central. It'll be Zebra basketball right in front of the Bulldog bench. Hotta show will come in, and Hunter will come out. Yeah, uh, this will give them Rochester more ball handling. Uh, whenever Braylon has put the ball on the floor, it's... They get it in. Try to get it into McCarter, and it's going to be kicked out of bounds by... Clinton Central, Zebras get away with one there. Now it'll be into the corner, even at a harder angle. So Zebras will look to get it in. Clevenger throws it over to the top to McCarter. Davidson challenges it. Now leaves McCarter open into the paint. Gets the rolling jumper good. Ella McCarter with a verse two. And it's 12 to six. Here's Davison back over to Robbins in the middle to Parkinson. Free throw jumper good. 14 to six. You don't want Parkinson to get hot on that shot. Wilson back to Clevenger, far side. Brings it to Wilson here on the near side. Looks like kind of back in that two, three a little bit to bring uh, it up. Looks like a man. Did they go back man? Yep, sure did, didn't they? Switching man, Hottishell has it. Hottishell has it knocked loose and stolen by Whiteman. They give it to Sarver. Now over to Robbins. Down, down in the corner. That's Davison. Back up top to Robbins. Robbins goes down low to Parkinson. Against field. Turn around, fader. Good. That was tough. I thought Jaden Field played pretty good yeah. defense there. 16 to 6. When you've got a patent fadeaway like that, that's pretty impressive. There's McCarter now has it on the far side. Bring it to the near side now to Wilson at the volleyball line. Wilson attacks it, kicks it out to Hottishell. Wilson got away with a walk, yeah. I think. To McCarter, top of the key, left side now to Clevenger. Clevenger back up top. Now to Wilson. Clinton Central just sitting there waiting on the Zebras to be able to get to the ball to the corner, and they're going to come at him. Wilson with a three ball off the back there. No good. Field with another rebound. Clevenger three from the left side, good. Riley Clevenger with her first points of the night. It's a three from the corner, 16 to nine now on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Field with a rebound and an assist. Get it in to Parkinson. Parkinson to a cutting Davison. Now Whiteman has it. Whiteman will dribble it back out, give it up to Davison. Right side, Robbins. That's good for 15. 18 to nine. Nice pass by Parkinson. Uh, Rochester really kind of clammed down on her, and Robbins was the open player. Clevenger over the top to Wilson. Wilson looking. She'll put it on the ground once. Goes to McCarter. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger left wing back over the top. Now in the corner. Here is three on the way for Hottishell. Off the mark, no good. Whiteman with a rebound. Whiteman gives it up to Davison. Here comes the Bulldogs. Around Clevenger. Still has it. She was in that 2-3. Now she's going to try to penetrate. Kicks it out to Long. Long with a jumper. Does not get the bounce. And the rebound to McCarter. Here comes Clevenger. Clevenger and the Zebras. Clevenger picks up her dribble. Now gives it up to Hottishell. She'll fire a three from the right wing. Off the mark again. Here's Parkinson with a rebound. 
One on two, Parkinson to the hole, throws up a shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, throws it back up, again no good. And McCarter with a great rebound, and the Zebras won a 60-second timeout. With 2.40 to go here in the second quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 18-9. to nine. Bulldogs lead. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. Bulldogs have turned up the pressure a little bit. They have, and, you know, we, we were so worried about rebounding before. The, I think the ladies yeah. have rebounded pretty well. Bollinger with three rebounds, Field with three rebounds, and McCarter with two boards, Parkinson with five boards for Clinton Central. But What's the turnovers mean, look like? Uh, eight for Rochester, five for Clinton Central. Okay. Two and a half to go here before halftime. Zebras have it after the timeout. Also, I think Ella McCarter's got to shoot more. I think she's only yeah. taken, what, one or two shots? One or two, yeah. Carter has it. She's looking to go down low. Now they give it off to Clevenger. Clevenger, left wing. Clevenger, out of hot of shell. Trying to go low to. Now they've moved Parkinson down on field. That makes a little more sense as the Zebras move the ball from the outside. Kind of a four out look for Rochester. Clevenger has it knocked loose by Whiteman, picks it up. Now to McCarter. McCarter drives the baseline, now picks up her dribble, wrap around past the field, almost travels, does a good job getting rid of it. Now out to Hottishell. Hottishell, double team, ball's loose, picked up by yeah, The ball Robbins. needed to go back in the post to yeah. field. Robbins almost loses it at the other end, now gives it off to Parkinson. Now back to Davison, she'll run the point. Minute 45, Davison around Wilson, pull up jumper, too hard off the back of the iron, McCarter pulls down a rebound. Jane Field doing a nice job defensively even yeah. though she's in foul trouble. Here comes McCarter pushing. McCarter gives it off to Clevenger, 90 seconds remaining in the quarter. Wilson, right side to McCarter, it's tipped, but McCarter goes and gets it, now yeah. stolen by Davison. Davison, right hand layup, up and good. Boy, she's just a shark out there. She did. 20 to nine now is our score here at Clinton Central. They really need to play like the Jaws theme music. If she's anywhere near the ball, she winds up with it. Yeah. Carly Davison. Basketball is gonna be picked up by Wilson, or excuse me, picked up by Clevenger, but she's gonna be fouled. And that's gonna be called on Robbins, her second, team third. Hottishell comes out, Hunter comes back in with uh, 63 seconds to go in the quarter. Davison just does some things that just can't be coached. Yeah. Um, just has good feel for like the pace of the game and where she needs to go with it. And where, where she is, where, when she can take chances defensively and when she shouldn't. McCarter with the basketball for the Zebras. Back out to Clevenger, 50 seconds to go. Clevenger around the corner, throws up a shot, no good. Not touched by anybody, it'll be Bulldog basketball. Coming in is Riley Dillinger for the first time here this afternoon or this evening for the Bulldogs. They'll have it with 40 seconds to go here in the first half. And I like the idea by Riley. Maybe like another another step closer to the bucket. I think that might have worked. Yeah. Uh, here's Davison. Goes around. Clevenger kicks it back out. Here's three for Parkinson. Good. They're not going to hold it and wait. They're going to put a three in the front of you. And it's 23 to 9. 20 seconds to go here in the first half. It's not what a Don Helmet coach team does. Wilson with the basketball. She's going to be pushed. And that foul is going to be whistled on Dillinger, who just came in. Going to be her first team fourth. Not a bad foul at all. Get it no, to give. Got and one to give, yeah. So now Hunter will inbound. 16.8 seconds. She just came into the game. Why not? Hunter looking. Throws it in the backcourt. Riley Clevenger has to hustle after it. She'll have it now to bring it in the front court. It was actually a good pass by Hunter. Yeah, 12 to go in the quarter. McCarter holds with nine. McCarter gets a screen by Field. Triple team, goes back down to Field. Field down low against Parkinson. Throws up a shot, no good. And a rebound. We're going to have a jump ball as Long and Hunter tie it up. And it'll go to Rochester with 1.0 seconds on the clock. Hunter. Ella or Field, you would imagine. Got to get it in quickly. They do, and it's stripped away, and that's going to do it for the half. At the end of the first half, the Bulldogs lead the Zebras 23-9 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. The Odell Lumber Halftime Show coming up here in just a little bit. Again, 23-9, Clinton Central over Rochester here at halftime. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. So it'll be Field, Bollinger, McCarter, Wilson, and Clevenger, the original five for the 
Zebras, and it looks like it's going to be the original five as well. Uh, Davison, Whiteman, Robbins, Serber, and Parkinson for Clinton Central. Bulldog basketball to start the third quarter. Zebras get in that 2-3 zone. Davison with the basketball. Goes left side now over to Serber. Back up top to Davison. She'll bring him back and start the offense over. Parkinson comes up, flashes up to the top. They don't get it to her. Davidson back over to Serber. Three on the way for her off the mark. No good. Wilson with a quick rebound. That was not a rhythm shot. She kind of no. shot it almost with her palms instead of with her fingertips. Wilson now has it over to McCarter on the far side. Back up top to Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. Comes to the near side. Leaves it off for McCarter on the wing. Clevenger rolls around the screen. They try to get it to her down low, and she'll have to kick it back out as uh, Parkinson was kind of in her way. Yeah, good defensive rotation there. Now we're going to have a moving screen, and if that's on field, that's going to be three. And it is third foul on her, first of the quarter. Unfortunately, of those three, two of them have been illegal screens. Yeah, there, there was something Coach yeah. uh, Burris drew up in the locker in the halftime locker room that didn't quite work there. Davidson splits the two top defenders, throws up a shot, no good. And Bullinger comes away with the rebound. She gives it off to Clevenger. Under a minute gone by here in the third quarter. Clevenger. Clinton Central rolls back into that man. There's McCarter. She's on the left wing. McCarter looking down low to Bollinger. Bollinger up off the glass, way too high and too hard. And Parkinson with a rebound. Here comes Davison. Bulldogs. Three on the way, good for Parkinson. She didn't even think about that one. She pulled it soon as she got there. 26 to nine, biggest lead of the night now for the Bulldogs. Just how many bigs who can shoot the ball like no. that. No, and then she'll come around the next time and post you up at the post. Yeah. Here's Clevenger, now to McCarter. McCarter has it. McCarter right side against Davison. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger guarded by Whiteman. Gives it back up to McCarter. McCarter around the screen, into the paint, throws up a running jumper, rolls out, no good, and Parkinson with a rebound. Uh, that's a bad break for Ella. She really cut hard off that screen. Davison down low to Whiteman, kicks it back out. Here's a shot on the way by Serber. Nope, she fakes it, gives it back up to Robbins. Back over to Davison. Now back over to Robbins. Davison sets up the offense. They go to Parkinson. Now down in the corner to Serber. Down double teamed is Davison, and it'll be last touched by Bollinger. Great job by Bollinger and Field collapsing there on Davison. A rare bad pass by Davison. Yeah. But uh, again, caught a break as Rochester just able to deflect that out of bounds. They get it into Davidson, into the paint, goes up against Field, and Field's going to draw number four. And the second of the quarter. And that's going to bring in Braylon Hunter after the free throws by Davison. Davison's got two coming. She's got seven points in the first half, looking for her first of the Clinton third Central's quarter. Clinton Central's been very productive on inbounds plays in this game. Free throw is good. Two for two now for Carly Davidson. And Hunter's in. Field will sit down. Well, she must be a lot of fun for Coach Helmick to coach because you don't you ever have to worry about being pressed. Uh, Five and a half to go here in the third. 27 to nine, make it 28-9 with the second free throw by Davidson. Here comes the Zebras. And again, she just knows when to speed up and yep. when to slow down, and that's stuff that you can't coach. Here's Clevenger with the basketball to Wilson. Wilson on the far side. Back up top to McCarter. McCarter at the volleyball line. Goes around the screen by Bollinger to the hole. It's up and rolls in. Ella McCarter gets the roll. She's got four points. And it's 28 to 11. Nice move by Ella. Took it right at Parkinson. Yeah, I think that might have been subject to conversation in the halftime locker room. Get some looks for Ella. And there is a two-point elbow jumper by Robbins. Good. 30 to 11. Robbins now with nine. Well, it just seems like you work so hard to get a bucket, and then you give up one at the other end. Wilson will get it across the timeline. Wilson guarded by Robbins. Now here's McCarter. Going down to the block again, but she tried to go to Hunter, but the Bulldogs step in front of the pass. Quickly head to Whiteman. Whiteman down low to Parkinson. She'll bring it back out, and they'll have to reset as Whiteman gets it. Now to Davison. Travels, yep. Took a little extra hop as she goes to pass that ball. 
And a reminder, Carly Davidson is just a sophomore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we saw her last year, and we were, we were like, this girl's a freshman? But, uh, Clint, you know, we talked about cast and helping each other out on defense. Clinton Central did that on that last yeah. defensive possession because Davidson gambled for a steal, but yeah. she didn't get it, but all of her teammates rotated around and helped her out. Whiteman on, Clevenger, she goes into the paint, jump stops, ball's loose by Robbins, now picked back up by Wilson. And on top of that, Clinton Central's really long defensively, yeah. got a lot of long arms. Clevenger goes between two defenders, and she's going to be fouled. And that foul is going to be called on Robbins, her third, first of the quarter. And coming back in will be 31 long, and the Zebras will have it right in front of their own bench. Clinton Central lost to Faith Christian in overtime in the sectional last year. That will, They will be an obstacle. I mean, I know there's a lot of high hopes for this Clinton Central team, but... Nothing will be easy for them. Wilson now into the McCarter. McCarter has it. McCarter almost lost it in the corner. Now she'll bring it back up top. Jump stop over to Wilson, left side. Wilson back to Clevenger. Clevenger around Whiteman, throws it up for Bollinger. Bollinger kicks it back out. Here's McCarter against Davison. McCarter loses it, picks it back up to Wilson. Clevenger, she'll go around the right side this time. Throws up a running jumper, good to foul. Riley Clevenger knew she got fouled and threw up a shot and got it to go in. And that one's coming on Emily Long, her second, team second of the quarter. And Riley Clevenger now will go to the free throw line for the first time to complete the three-point play. Well, that was an awesome shot, kind of a one-handed Mark Jackson-style floater. <laughs> but she didn't, she didn't have a great angle on the yeah. rim either. Free throw's good. Clevenger now with six. 30 to 14 with three and a half to go here in the third. Hey, that's something you can't really coach on. No, no. Left side now here is Serber with it. Back to Davidson, now down to Long. Long goes down low to Dave. Oh, what a great cut by Davidson. Defended well by the Zebras. And a jump ball, and it'll be Zebra basketball. Davidson with a great cut. Left it a little short on the layup, but I think McCarter might have made her angle a little different at the last minute there. Uh, Davison just ticked off at herself, I think. Yeah, great, uh, great defensive effort. Just basically a simple basketball. Put, put Parkinson in the high post, then get it off to the side. Davison now will commit a reach-in foul against McCarter, and that's going to be her first, team third. Then get, then get, put the ball in the wing, then move Parkinson down to the block, and then, uh, and. Then you give all kinds of options if Parkinson gets a touch on the block. Davison with the inbound steal. Davison against McCarter. Spin around, jumper off the glass, good. Well, that's the other thing. She got herself mad because of the layup. She's going to get a steal, and she got a steal and a bucket. <coughs> McCarter with the basketball again against Davison. Gives it up to Wilson. Now top of the key, here's Clevenger. Clevenger against Whiteman. Back out to Wilson. Wilson's guarded by Serber. McCarter, deep three, got it. Confidence in that shot by Ella McCarter. And it's the Zebras trail now 32-17 with 2.20 to go in the third. Nine to eight so far this quarter. And a travel on the shifting of the feet by Parkinson. Another turnover. Coming back in will be Robinson and Whiteman will sit down. I love it when a player commits a travel and she looks at her bench like, yeah. Did I really? Tell me that wasn't my fault. <laughs> so the Zebras get it now with 210 to go here in the third quarter. Wilson, she'll take control of the point. She picks up her dribble. Now I gotta get rid of it. Finally does to McCarter. McCarter again against Davison. McCarter on the left side to Wilson. Wilson picks up a dribble after just one dribble. And now we're going to have a illegal screen on Bollinger. So they tried to clear her out with a post. So another turnover on the Zebras with 1.54 to go, 32-17 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. And you look at a player like Serber, I mean, she hasn't scored in this game, but she does what they need. Yeah. And, you know, I think Coach Burris talked about the pregame about, you know, doing your role, and she does for that team. Her defense on Wilson was very good. There's Serber with the basketball, now over to Robbins. 
Robbins back to server. She'll throw an elbow jumper up. Good. That's the Val Jinx. I was going to say, is that the reverse Jinx? Val, yeah. thanks. Server with her first points of the night. 34-17. Here's Wilson with the basketball on the far side. Wilson against Server. Now gives it to Hunter. Hunter dribbles into the free throw line. Kicks it back out. Wilson sees an open paint line. Drives it up and good. Great drive by Aubrey Wilson with her first points of the night. 34-19. Drove that baseline perfectly. Now they go down low to Perkinson. Davison cuts through. Perkinson gets the pass to her. Can't hit the shot. McCarter with the rebound. One minute to go in the quarter. Clevenger in stride. Three on the way. Good. Clevenger now with nine. A very transition, a transition basket for the ladies' ease. That's Serber with a three ball on the or Robbins with a three ball on the way. No good. McCarter rips the rebound. And a foul coming. And that is going to be. Parkinson, I Parkinson's believe. Parkinson's first and the team's fourth of the quarter. And Whiteman will come back in and sitting down is Robbins. 42.4 seconds to go in the third. This has got to be one of the better quarters of the season for Rochester. I, I don't think that's too much of an exaggeration. I know, you know, you're down by 14 and all you've done is cut it to 12, but against this level of opponent, pretty good. McCarter with the basketball. Now over to Wilson, top of the key, around the screen. Wilson has it on the far side, 25 seconds to go. Now here's McCarter, hands it off to Clevenger, around the screen, Clevenger, should have been a bounce pass, had Bollinger open, and now Clevenger commits the foul after a frustration. She's trying to go over the top, if you make that bounce pass, it's an easy layup for Bollinger. And another turnover on the Zebras with 15 seconds to go here in the quarter. Uh, Davison, down low to Long, up off the glass is good. Way too easy. They let it roll in, and the Zebras didn't put any pressure on there. Here's Wilson at half court with three. Now to McCarter. She'll have to fire it up, and she gets it off at the buzzer, but it's no good. And the Zebras trail now at the end of the third on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 36-22. Back with more from Clinton Central High School on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Right, and they've they allowed 26 last night to Clinton Prairie. 36-22. Now Clinton Central will have it. Here's Davidson to start the quarter. Davidson, top of the key, comes the right side now to Serber. Excuse me, that's Robbins. Now down low to Parkinson. She jumps it out to Serber. Her shot no good. And McCarter with another rebound. That's six rebounds for Ella. She's really been strong on the boards tonight. 30 seconds gone by. Zebras have the basketball right side, McCarter. McCarter with it around the screen by Bollinger. There's the give and go. And the pass is deflected, picked up by Parkinson. Now the pick and roll set up, but somebody deflected that for Clinton Central. There's Davison now. Davison, top of the key. Put Parkinson, elbow jumper on the way for her. Off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound for Serber. She gives it up to Robbins and the free throw line jumper good. Robbins now with 11 into double digits. 38-22. A rare second chance bucket for Clinton Central tonight. Clevenger with a basketball. Now off to McCarter. McCarter again guarded by Davidson. They go down low to Bollinger and she's gonna be double team. Bollinger's called for a travel. Another turnover on Zebras. Under seven to go here in the contest. Bulldogs will bring it across the timeline. Davidson comes to the near side. Now swings it back over to Whiteman. Back up top to Davidson. Now here's Robbins. Down low to Parkinson. Turn around jumper, no good. McCarter with another rebound. Tough shot. Here's quickly ahead to Clevenger. Clevenger now gives it off to Wilson. Back to McCarter, left wing. McCarter. Looking to go left, spins back into the paint, goes down to Bollinger, and another turnover. Yeah, that Again, a tough a, angle. Yeah, well, that would have had been more, almost a perfect couple, pass to get there. A couple more dribbles, and I think that pass gets into Bollinger, and she can do something with it. Here he is, Davison now with the basketball. Hottishell checked in to the lineup for Rochester. 
In the corner is Parkinson. Now back up top to Davidson. Corner three on the way for Robbins is good. Got to fight through the screen. Robbins now with five in the quarter. 14 for the game. I mean, 41-22. I mean, Parkinson just set the screen and just. Yeah. And another moving screen. And this one's going to be called on Clevenger. Coach Burris is asking, what are they doing? We haven't had this many offensive uh, illegal screens all season. Yeah, more in this game than I think all season. I mean, I. Yeah. yeah that could be maybe the first illegal screen called on Riley Clevenger in her career. <laughs> He, the official told Coach Burris, kind of flung out the elbows. I don't see that happening, but anyway. Here's down low to Parkinson, up and good. Parkinson now with 14. Smart basketball. 43-22. Wilson with it. Wilson picks up her dribble on the height. Now she's got to give it out to McCarter. McCarter. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger gets around her defender, into the paint, kicks it back out. Hot shell three on the way, good. Nice in and out combination there for the Zebras. 43-25. Clevenger got deep in there, right at the, the out of bounds line for the volleyball. Right Turned around and found Hot shell open. Well, Mia's got a nice looking shot when she can get her feet set. Now here's Ro Davidson on the far side, over the top they go. That is Robinson. Robinson to Whiteman. Whiteman, top, two, three. they go down low, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds. Nope, saved by Server. Now knocked out of bounds by Clevenger. Last possession, they put Parkinson in the low post, yeah. and with Field on her field, couldn't do much with four fouls. There they put uh, Parkinson more on the elbow. Let's see if they move her back down on the post this time. The inbound pass stolen by Wilson. Wilson with the steal. Wilson now will bring it up the court. Wilson with the basketball. Wilson back to Hottishell. Hottishell with it, top of the key. Swings it right side now to McCarter. McCarter to Ella, Wilson. Ella was open earlier in the yeah. possession, but Aubrey didn't see her. They swing it to Clevenger. Clevenger now back up top to McCarter, right side to Wilson. Wilson around the screen to Clevenger. Clevenger into the paint, kicks it out. Wilson again, three, or excuse me, Hottishell again with a three. Another beautiful assist by Mia Hadashell. 43-28. Three-pointer by Mia Hadashell, that is. Yes. Another great pass, though, by Riley Clevenger. Yeah. She got into that paint. Yes. Down low, now off to Parkinson. Parkinson with it. Parkinson double team. She kicks it back out to Whiteman. Whiteman into the paint, draws it back out. Here's Davidson coming to the near side now to Robbins. Back to Davison, three and a half to go here in the contest. 43-28, Bulldogs on top. Davison into the paint, stripped by Field, and she didn't really have to move. The ball came up to her, and it's picked up by Clevenger. McCarter, three on the way, off the mark, no good. Parkinson with a quick rebound. Jane Field just held her ground there, and, and really, when Davison went up, she knocked it off of Field. Great, great job by Field to stay put. Here's Parkinson with it over the top. Now back over to Whiteman on the left wing. Now they give it off to Davidson. Davidson back up top to Parkinson. Now they go right side to Robbins. They kick it out to Whiteman. 15-footer off the mark. No good. Whiteman with her own rebound. Back to Robbins. And they kick it out to Server, who gives it back up to Robbins. Field was in position for the rebound, but the ball hit the rim a yeah. second time, and it affected... Her ability to get in. Weidman flew in and rebounded her own miss. Clinton Central just moving the ball around, making the Zebras kind of chase them. Two and a half to go. Here's Davidson, kicks it back out to Robbins. Now to Serber. Up top to Whiteman. Now to Parkinson. Everybody on Clinton Central, obviously their floor general is Davison. Right. But everybody can dribble it like two or three times yeah. before they're they pass it. And, and they're, they're just running a five-man weave And that's, that's such an underrated skill. I mean, you know, you think about, a, you know, the great Rochester teams, you know, 2015 and 2016, they were like that as well. Here's the, here, excuse me, Bulldogs with it. Whiteman cuts to the post, up and no good. Rebound fought for, and Parkinson comes away with it. They go down low and knocked out of bounds by McCarter. It'll stay Bulldog basketball. 
Coming back in will be Long and Dillinger. 151 to go here in the contest. 43-28 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Davidson will get it in to Parkinson. Goes up against Field, and unfortunately, Jaden Field's going to foul out with four points here this afternoon or this evening. So that'll put Parkinson to the line to shoot two, and that'll bring in Bollinger back in for Field. Jaden Field two field goals in the early first quarter, and she. Really sets down with four. There haven't been many instances of a Rochester player fouling out this year that I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah, and for a team with only seven players in the whole second, program. Second or third time, yeah. Yeah, not much. Free throw good by Parkinson. And you're so worried about a freshman who's, you know, new to varsity basketball and having to do that. A freshman post. Yeah. It's pretty commonplace to get into foul trouble. 44-28, make it 45 with two free throws. Coach Helmick wants a timeout. It is a full timeout. Minute 50 to go in the contest on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 45-28 Bulldogs over the Zebras. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. The Zebra basketball after the Clinton Central timeout. McCarter will inbound it to Wilson. Wilson will walk it across the timeline. Clinton Central again in a man. Wilson has it right side. Now up top to Clevenger. Clevenger gives it off to McCarter, who's guarded by Davison. To hot a shell. Mia on the far side. She'll dribble it back into the paint. Picks up her dribble in the paint. Got to do something with it. Needs to get rid of it. And a three-second violation as Mia into the paint too long. Another turnover. Hunter comes in. Hot shell sits down. 127 to go here. Zebras will put a little pressure on. Davison in the backcourt, loses it, picks it back up. Now over the top, they give it off to Robbins. Now to Robbins again on the other end as Parkinson got the relief outlet. Now to Parkinson's, back up top to Davison. That goes in again. Just well, a little just hot a lot potato. To like about Parkinson, I yeah. mean, beyond her scoring. Young underneath, wide open, good. Young's got two more, and it's 47-28 with 55 seconds to go. Parkinson really moves well for a six-footer. I mean, I, I, they don't list heights on the roster. She looks about yeah. six feet. Really moves well. Here's Clevenger with it. 45 seconds to go in the contest. Clevenger back to Hunter. Hunter into the paint. Back out to Clevenger. Clevenger dribbles in, kicks it back to Hunter on the far side. Hunter to Clevenger. Clevenger will fire a three. Bank it off the backboard and good. Riley now into double digits. 47-31. Davison with the basketball. She dribbles between the defenders and brings it back out. 15 seconds to go. Davison, top of the key, and that'll do it. That's going to be your final score tonight. It's North Central Bull, Central, yeah, Clinton Central Bulldogs, 47. The Rochester Zebras, 31 here at Clinton Central High School. When we come back, it'll be the post-game show brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. We'll choose the Fulton County Community Foundation player of the game, and we'll talk with Coach Joel Burris. All coming your way here in just a little bit. Again, the final on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 47-31, Clinton Central over Rochester. Back with more, Giant FM and RTC TV4. McCarter kicks it back out to Wilson. Step back three behind the line. No good. Rebound by Field up and good. Jay Hunter has it stolen. Here's Davidson to the hole. Up and good to foul. Davidson challenges it. Now leaves McCarter open into the paint. Gets the rolling jumper good. Ella McCarter with a verse two. No good. Field with another rebound. Clevenger three from the left side. Good. Riley Clevenger with her first points of the night. The McCarter, it's tipped, but McCarter goes and gets it. Now yeah. stolen by Davison. Davison, right hand layup, up and good. Boy, she up to McCarter. McCarter at the volleyball line. Goes around the screen by Bollinger to the hole. It's up and rolls in. Out to Wilson. Clevenger, she'll go around the right side this time. Throws up a running jumper. Good to foul. Wilson. Wilson's guarded by Serber. 
McCarter, deep three, got it. Dribbles into the free throw line, kicks it back out. Wilson sees an open paint line, drives it up and good. Great drive by Aubrey Wilson with her first point. Clevenger in stride, three on the way, good. Clevenger now with not Clevenger.